saying. Just a PSA, there are better ways to show your love than going into debt. That's right. Right? Just be a nice person. Just be, yes. Or be, be single and save your money. <laughs> what? Throwing take, it out there. Take Brian's advice. Okay. All right, let's turn now to your Benoit Weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrock on the weather side. Hey, Tony, it's almost 40 degrees out there right now. What a good segue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, by the way, um, I'm just I'm just saying I do I do like pecan turtles. Just okay. Throw, okay. Throw that out that there. One. Noted. Favorite. <laughs> Forty degrees. Yeah, that's a good uh, point, Brian, because we're talking uh, rain rather than ice and snow. It was a little dicey and icy um, early this morning. Uh, temperatures were below freezing, but it's primarily rain, and the temperatures really not expected to fall. So you see, well, for one, reduced visibility and fog in Newport, and we're tracking uh, plenty of moisture, so nothing scattered. In fact, some of the rain will actually be uh, heavy at times. Take a peek outside, and you can see. Newport one more time. Uh, low clouds, fog. It's in the lower 40s actually along the south shore, so it's well above freezing. And you know, looking at the beach, we've got some uh, gray skies and um, cool conditions, upper 30s to lower 40s. Maybe a walk on the beach tomorrow. The afternoon looks okay. We'll see some sunshine the second half of tomorrow, but the rain should spill over, you know, now through tomorrow morning. Upper 30s to low 40s. Smithfield at 37, you know, watching the temperatures in the northern part of the state closely, but they've been holding steady, if anything, inching up. Any issues with ice as far as travel? If you have travel plans, say, north of the Mass Pike this evening, it, it's still icy there. But for us, it's just mainly a non-freezing rain with improving conditions coming up for tomorrow afternoon, at least in the short term. We don't see any major storms on the horizon. In fact, in the short term, I don't see any, you know, bitter cold, extreme temperatures, extreme cold, or, or like any snowstorm threats. Again, short term, only halfway through winter, right? Rain continues on Doppler radar. Here's the wider view. And you see steady moisture in the bottom of your TV. Let me kind of widen out. Well, first of all, notice the temperatures in the upper 30s. So cool, but not cold. But actually a coastal storm. You can see nothing scattered about the precipitation right in here. This is expanding. It's mostly rain. Now, normally would be concerned about a storm in that position. Here we are in southern New England. And there's the storm itself that will track north and east. But when you overlay the temperatures, it's cool. But there's just not enough cold air to support an all snow situation. So uh, in that regard, good news for as far as travel with ice and snow. But this is still impactful for travel in terms of at least slower travel speeds. Here we are at 11 o'clock. It's a widespread rain. Heavy at times may pick up an inch of rain now through tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m. where we do start with some rain, but the exit is pretty rapid. So we are dry the second half of the day and we'll squeak out some sunshine too. And when that happens, we should get temperatures, you know, like around 43 degrees. And so instead of showing a snowfall accumulation, we show you a rainfall accumulation map up to an inch of rain now through tomorrow morning and maybe some locally higher amounts as well. So, you know, some big puddles on the roads, maybe some minor localized street flooding. So take a travel speed slow now through at least tomorrow morning. The rain lingers early mid to late morning. It's drying out and then eventually breaks of sunshine developing the second half of the day. Dry breezy with temperatures reaching the lower 40s, running about five degrees above average. All right, bay forecast, uh, reduced visibility at least in the early morning, improving in the afternoon, a northwest breeze at uh, 10 to 20 knots. All right, seven-day forecast showing that widespread rain for tonight, better the second half of tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are relatively quiet. It's certainly not bitter cold. Uh, the weekend, so far, so good. There'll be a storm to our south this weekend, but right now the early call is to keep that away. But stay tuned. Uh, temps over the weekend, actually colder on Sunday in the middle 30s. Shannon and Kim.